रेट्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शंस स्टूडेंट्स हियर वी आर स्टार्टिंग केमिकल काइनेटिक्स द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज केमिकल काइनेटिक्स यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड बाय द नेम इटसेल्फ काइनेटिक मींस समथिंग इन मोशन इन फिजिक्स वी स्टडीड काइनामेटिक्स एंड काइनेटिक्स मींस मूवमेंट और मोशन दैट इज वेरी सिंपल If you are a chemist you must come across many chemical reactions like there will be reactants there will be product so in that particular case reaction will take place or it will not take place this is a question which we know about delta g if delta g is less than 0 then the reaction will proceed in forward direction similarly one more important thing is the speed of reaction because if a reaction takes place very slow then it has no meaning so speed of reaction is more important and how long the reaction will take place the extent of the reaction is also important extent of reaction is also important about which we make it out from the equilibrium constant kc if kc is greater that means the concentration of the products it will be very much more than the concentration of the reactant finally or in the equilibrium condition how fast it will attain the equilibrium also this is very important so many factors are there about which we study in this chapter in chemical kinetics so the special thing which we study in this chapter is rate of reaction how much rapidly it is taking place how we measure it we will be seeing this first we have to learn to measure the rate of reaction and the conditions by which the rate of reaction is affected second thing we will be studying conditions firstly we will be seeing what will be the rate of reaction conditions that affect condition that affect rate of reaction and what are these conditions this is very simple to understand our first condition is concentration concentrations of reactants secondly the most important condition is temperature then pressure in the case of gaseous reactants pressure is also important and catalyst if catalyst is there then even the catalyst are important and rate of reaction we measure in two ways as we measure velocity instantaneous velocity and average velocity so the rate of reaction also we measure in two ways we will always come across two terms average rate of reaction and second one is instantaneous rate of reaction instant tenuous rate of reaction in fact our ultimate aim is to it has to be a relation of time with a concentration our ultimate relation we want a relation in the terms of concentration with respect to time and it will be more good if you get concentration with respect to time it will be better so how we measure the rate of reaction we will be seeing this also so what is the simplest method to see the rate of reaction we have to see the concentration how the concentration is varying suppose we have a simple reaction a to b a is the reactant and b is product so a will disappear here consumption of a will be there and b will appear here the production of b will take place so if we talk about the concentration at an instant then what it will be at time suppose t1 concentrations r concentration see concentration of a that is concentration of a1 at time t1 and the concentration of b at time p1 is b1 similarly we have to see at some other time at t2 what are the concentrations concentrations are at time t2 concentrations are they are denoted by concentration of a at time t2 and similarly concentration of b 2 that means concentration of b at time t2 now we have one very simple thing here rate of consumption or disappearance 
what will be the rate of disappearance or what will be the rate of consumption whose disappearance is there rate of consumption or disappearance of a that is the reactant here it will be change of concentration of a that is delta concentration a divided by delta t if you see the value of delta a then delta a is simply the value for delta a will be the concentration of a2 concentration of a at time t2 minus concentration of a at time t1 divided by delta t delta t is the change of time that is t2 minus t1 but not only this there is also a minus sign here because delta a is negative we have taken minus so that the total quantity becomes positive because the rate of consumption if we will be saying it 1 mole per liter per second then 1 mole per liter per second will be consumed but that will not be a negative it will be a positive quantity in itself because we are seeing disappearance rate rate of consumption consumption is there it is a positive quantity in itself here because there is the consumption of a and if consumption is there its concentration change will be negative and one minus sign will be using here and one will be using here so the rate of consumption or disappearance of a will be same as the rate of production of b so here we should understand it let us write this once again so a here is disappearing so the rate of disappearance of a is minus delta concentration of a with respect to time it is and if you see this value then this value will be equal to whom delta this is delta that is the change in concentration of b divided by the time and that is obviously equal to the rate of production of rate of production of b or you can say rate of appearance of b but here i should write a very important term which i have not written i have not written it purposefully this is basically the average rate this is basically the average rate of product because whenever delta is there this is a significant time interval between delta t and dt you might be knowing the difference delta t is the significant change in time while delta t delta is delta t that is very small differential value of t that is called differential value of t that means very very small infinitely small infinitely small change in time t and if we talk about this d concentration of a divided by dt if we talk about this is negative or you can say d concentration of b change in concentration of b with respect to time t this is differential rate of change basically this will be the differential coefficient here the concentration is a function of time so this is what instantaneous rate this is what instantaneous rate of reaction in this particular reaction you can see this is the instantaneous rate of reaction so the concentration is changing with respect to time one which is being consumed its consumption rate and one which is produced its production rate both we are seeing in this particular case get equated in this way and this only will be telling us that what is the rate of reaction this is the rate of reaction it can be understood graphically it can be understood numerically so the calculations we have to perform with the given data in fact always the data is given there its values are given its table is given and with that we calculate the concentration and rate and it is not that much difficult to calculate with the table but let us understand this graphically now so here we want to differentiate the average rate of chemical reaction and instantaneous rate of chemical reaction so here we are having time and this graph is for time versus concentration of concentration of product we are taking it here so if we take this graph between concentration of product and time then see how we can measure the average rate and how we measure the instantaneous rate at a time t1 this is suppose time t1 our concentration is the concentration of the product